welcome back to fashion with sort out youtube channel how are we all doing so in, do, in today's tutorial we are going to be learning how to make a perfect fitted gun with a damask material okay so these are the materials i'm going to be using i have my damask material they also call it brocade then i have this beautiful scuba material which i'm going to be using for the sleeve i also have this satin material here and this i'm going to use for my lining one of the trick with sewing a brocade fabric or a damask fabric is using a thicker um um lining for it and that's why i chose this shining satin okay so i have cut out the damp parts of my dress and this is the front and the back together as you can see the back has the zipper allowance already okay so we'll start to introduce our verticals on the on the fold on the fabric so now we we'll start with our waist and the waist circumference is 37 inches divided by four that's 9.25 and then i'm adding 2.5 sewing allowance and this is with that allowance is inclusive so now we'll move down to our hip May a second friends and then just like we you we do, we always do the first line which is six inches will be the upper hip and then the nine inches will serve as the down part of the hip and so i'm just going to connect it with my cuff ruler because i folded the clothes by 14 inches with the mind that the hip then divided by four plus two and it will have 2.5 sewing allowance which gave me 14 inches afterwards so now the next thing i'm going to do is mark out the nail length i want to mark out the verticals on the lane and the new length is 33 and so that was why i drew up the chip rule so that i can get the accurate 33 inches from the hip measurements like i used to do i'm going to be deducting two inches from what i have there what i have on the hip is 13 14 inches then i remove two inches that gave me 12 so the markings on the knee length is 12 inches and then just as you see me do i'll just connect it together with the hip and then have the line drawn out drawn down rather to the end of the dress with my ruler as you can see and afterwards i'll pick my scissors and then cut everything out that is that to the down part of the dress and then we'll proceed to the upper part of the dress i have my basic pattern drawn out and then i'm going to be imputing my nipple to nipple measurements which is eight divided by two that gave me four and then i have i added half inch sewing allowance to it and then i'm going to mark down mark 4.5 down the way to the waist to the waistline so now i'm going to come up to the arm part and then find the midpoint on the on the shoulder line which is four inches i'm then going to take my cuff ruler and then make the arm curve like you see me do after this has been done i'm going to from that four inches which i which is the midpoint of the of the shoulder length i mean the armhole i'm going to mark make a point of half inch above the four inches and then below is i'm going to mark another four inch so the four inches will serve as the midpoint just like i said i just came up half inch and then came down half inch on both point and then i'm going to take my cuff ruler and connect the points to the um to the bust line as you can see the nipple to nipple point line on the bust line as you can see i'm also going to connect it to the upper half inch from the four inches we had initially and after that has been done the next thing we are going to do is um move down to the to the down um measurement and then extend it coming down to the under bust vertical we are going to mark in out 1.5 
and then inward 1.5 just as you see me do in order to form our bust here this time around i'm going to pick my curve ruler again and then make a curve connect of the bust point a uh, bust point vertical to the new point i just made on the under bust vertical just as you see me do and then the next thing i'm going to do is come down to the half length half length vertical as you see it and then mark one inch then on the that part that we have that's the sewing allowance the excess i deliberately added one inch extra excess which will serve as our sewing allowance one and a half rather so i'm going to just connect it from the under bust length to the one inch and that is what we have coming back to our arm hole i'm going to be extending the that line by 1.5 inches and then make a new arm hook curve just as you see me do it, doing it and afterwards the next thing we are going to do is impute our body circumference on the upper part of the dress and then we'll come to the chest line the bust we are working with is 41 inches divided by four that gave me 10.25 and then the one and a half inch that i extended the dart line width i'm going to add it to it that's um that gave me 11.75 right and afterwards i'm going to be adding sewing allowance to it so afterwards after everything has been added i have 14 inches for the chest line on the chest line so i'm just going to make that mark the excess as you know is for the sewing allowance and the joining allowance so the same thing i have there i will extend to my bust points and then come down to the under bust area then the under bust we are working with is 37 inches divided by four that's 9.25 i'm going to mark that and then the three inches um that we are going to be cutting out to form a bust here on that under bust length i'm going to be adding it to it so three plus 9.25 that's 12.25 then i added extra 2.5 sewing allowance the same thing i'm going to be doing to the half length to the waistline so after that has been done i'm just going to come to the neck line is actually an eye neck so i'm making use of 3.5 by 3.5 so that it won't be choky the same thing i have at the front is what i'm going to be using at the um at the back so like i said the width of the neck is 3.5 and then the depth is three inches okay i hope we get that after that has been done i'm going to just come down at the shoulder to form my shoulder slant okay so right now i'm just going to pick my scissors and then cut everything out okay so that's that so our front part we then proceed to our back and as you can see we have the zipper allowance then the, we have the basic measurement right and then the zipper allowance is joined that i'm also going to be using princess that for this so i find the i'm going to mark out half inch for the shoulder slat and then find the midpoint the midpoint afterwards is four inches i'm going to mark that and then form my arm hole with my cuff ruler after this has been done after the cuff has been drawn the next thing i'm going to do is connect um the dart line from the boss points right there to the, the to the shoulder line for the fitting part of the of the back i'm going to come to the half length area and then marking half half inch inward and outward and afterward i'm going to just connect it straight to the to the under bust point and then i'm going to cut it out this is just to give the back fitting to the dress okay so now we are going to be imputing our body circumference you see the okay without from from the points after the zipper allowance i'm just going to make um connect so i folded the dress i folded the fabric rather with the 
accurate measurements needed with the sewing allowance and that's why i didn't bother to just make any calculation i just cut it out that way now for our neckline the same thing we use for the front is what we're going to be using for the back for the front we use remember we use we used 3.5 inches for the width and 3 inches for the depth same thing we are going to be having for the back also so that it won't be choky and so i'm just going to cut everything out so i've gone ahead to use all the patterns to cut the main fabric and this is what we have i'm going to go and join everything as a, and as i'm joining it i will come back to show you how it is remember the essence of this tutorial is to teach us how to make a fitted dress with brocade and so this is how the front part is the upper part of the front looks like it was padded and as you can see it's looking beautiful this is what the back look, looks like you see how neat everything is i'm going to go to join the down part to it you see the down part also so i'm just going to the i'm just going to go to the machine join everything together and come back to show you how it came out again so guys i have gone ahead to join everything and this is how it came out okay so we have our front part for the back part you see i've joined it i also pop the half length part and then you see the darts you see even the inside is looking very neat right so i'm just going to this is the front part you see how how sweet is looking i just love the outcome so i'm just going to go to the machine now fix everything together the zip and then i'll come back to show you the outcome guys this is how it came out after joining this is how the inside looks like and then this is the outside in fact i really love this it's looking so sweet and everything prime and i know you can attest to that okay guys we are going to set this aside and then proceed to our sleeves now i have this beautiful scuba material uh, we made the choice choice of scuba because of the thickness of the material and for us to have that puffy effect now i have the basic sleeve pattern drawn out as you can see i've cut it and then this is what we're going to be using to cut our sleeves i have folded the fabric into two in two places i mean the two sleeves and then i place the pattern paper on it in this way and then i'm going to check what i have from the fold to where the pattern is placed the gist is the wider that place is the more puffy we will have it so now from the fold i have like 13 inches i'm going to cut it out and then this will be pleated on the sleeve the more you have it actually the more puffy the sleeve will be so what i'm going to do now is pleat form gathers on that edge and then the down part i'm going to tape it and then make a casing rather for us to insert elastic i've also gone ahead to cut the elastic we'll be needing of course based on the circumference of the ham so i'm just going to form a casing and then insert the elastic so i'm just going to go i add the sewing machine join everything and come back to show you how it came out guys this is how we have it in fact I'm, I'm loving it already so i'm going to go to the machine also fix it to the sleeve and then this is the final outcome we have guys thank you for staying true to this time if you haven't subscribed to this channel do well too so see the puffy sleeve we have so sweet and the gun itself is so beautiful we have come to the end of this video if you like this tutorial give it a thumbs up don't hesitate to do that and then share with your friends i want to show you how the inside is you see the way the inside is very neat so share it with your friend like this video and then if you have not subscribed subscribe see you in my next tutorial guys thank you for staying through to the end god bless you bye bye